This is a 20 year old 1720 Key West that went through Hurricane Ian back in 2022 and we are going to see if we can get this thing to shine again. It had a lot of standing water in it after the hurricane and a bunch of other issues that we've recently fixed on it. First thing we needed to do was go ahead and sweep out all these leaves, get all these leaves out of here and then pressure wash the boat to give it a nice clean. That way we can then start in on trying to restore the gel coat to get it to shine once again. All right, I sped through the pressure wash, but now that the boat is all pressure washed, we need to start cleaning it, which is going to be the chemicals. And then the pressure wash also, we got all of inside of here, you know, all this stuff kind of hit everything out. But now what we need to do is clean everything else. That means inside all these compartments, we need to get all this stuff clean, all those stains and stuff that the pressure washer did not take off. We're going to need to use chemicals on that stuff. So bleach, Clorox, rust aid goof off. So this stuff is for like rust and stuff. So all these spots like this, that kind of stain, we're gonna need to get that off using the goof off. Same thing for this, like all this, like the tree stuff. And then like those marks, those marks, just all around the boat, there's gonna be a bunch of stains. So we're going to clean the boat and get rid of all those stains. And then once we have all those stains gone, we can go ahead and work on compounding everything. The metal, we'll do the metal after the fact. So we'll work on the metal after we're done with the compound and the polish. And that's what I'm talking about. So stuff like that, that's gonna have to be a wet sand to get that out. But the rest of this, yeah, look at that, spotless. I mean, you can really see the problems in the gel coat, but other than that, it looks beautiful. So we're gonna go around and get the entire boat to look like that. And then once we get done with, I mean, it'll be quick because we've only got this compartment in that compartment really to do and the rest of it's the whole boat on the out on the inside here so it should be pretty quick maybe like an hour or two but once we get it all done then tomorrow morning is when we're going to start cutting everything Now everything outside of this is now, I mean, as you can see, most of that stuff all came up, but a lot of this is gonna have to get, get some different kind of work. That might be able to get these out because these are like scratches and stain, like this more like a scratch. So I might be able to wet sand a lot of those, but, and like right here, you know, that's the gel coat gone. I can't really do anything with that. But all the rust and that is, those heavy stains are all off. Now I need to wash the boat. I need to wash the boat really, really good. Uh, probably going to use some bleach stuff to try and get a lot of these stains and stuff up like this. I might be able to wet sand that out, but a lot of, oh, I missed that spot there. But all the rust and the stains are out for the most part. So now let me go ahead and wash the boat. And then once I get the boat washed, everything outside of here will now all be like a spot clean. So like, you know, I'll have to do... A spot clean on stuff whether that be the, the goof off or whatever it is like these all have to get individually hit and dealt with like that right there that's the, the whole gel coats cracked right there like you know that kind of stuff we can't do nothing with that um, all we're about to expose a lot of these because we're going to this thing's going to be super shiny which is going to expose any kind of imperfection that's in the gel coat we're gonna see all that stuff now so let me go ahead and mix up some soap. I'll probably just use some bleach and stuff and wash this whole boat. Definitely looking beautiful right now, but this is not gonna stay like this. this is just because it's wet. A lot of everything else is off the boat. She's looking extremely pretty, but now, tomorrow is when we really got to get to work. Now, this is just a DeWalt polisher, corded polisher. You can get non-corded, you can get cordless, whatever. Um, this is an adapter for a double-sided pad. And we're going to be using this right here is a double-sided pad. 
there's part number i'll put all the part numbers in the description but this is a compounding pad and this is a polishing pad so we're going to be compounding the boat and then we're going to be polishing the boat using these two pads you're going to need this adapter in order to do a double-sided pad this just screws on there and then the pad can screw onto that this is what the pads look like this is just used pad um, you see it just screws in there yeah you, know, you can flip these things over use them front and back same thing see how this one's the back's like brand new looking this one's all pretty clapped out from polishing now we're going to be using this this is presta supercut compound this is a really really good compound what i do is i go get these bottles you can get these really cheap from the dollar store dollar tree whatever i take this bottle and then i add a little bit of water to this and then i pour this into this and that makes it real easy to be able to pour out onto the pad using these little bottles once we do the compound then we're going to be polishing the boat so this is a 3m perfect it perfect it gel coat light cutting polish and wax one step works great on boats rv's industrial gel coat this is what we're going to be using to polish the boat and that'll be with the yellow pad so now that you kind of understand what i'm going to be using here we've already got the boat completely clean so now let me i'm going to fill this up and then we will go out and start compounding the front to the back and see how this thing starts to shine up Now you can see what I was talking about when I said all these imperfections, you, all that stuff's gonna start to shine. All these cracks here, you can see those cracks. All the stuff like here, all these scratches, all these like imperfections, all that stuff's gonna start to pop out of the boat now. But um, I actually ran that Presto over the non-skid and it didn't, it's not slick or anything like that. So. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit the whole boat with that stuff because yeah, it seems to be all right now. Um, this is starting to clean up real good. And once I hit this with the polish, this is gonna be super slick. So I'm just kind of going around hitting it and then I come back and you wipe off, you know, any anything that's left, you gotta kind of wipe all that stuff off, get it off whatever it sprays around. But we're gonna wash the boat when we get done anyway, but you just hit it and then come back, wipe it off. And then when we come back around and polish it, it'll, we'll get everything else off. Hey there, sorry to take you away from the boat, but I wanted to let you know about our boaters program. If you enjoy this kind of video, we have this type of content laid out into courses that will teach you the boating skills that will save you thousands of dollars or hundreds of hours of downtime or even a ton of embarrassment that can come with owning a boat. You can start learning those skills today at bornagainboating.com. Now back to the boat. I don't know what this is. It's coming out the console. It's a stain or something but that's all that stain that I took off yesterday here it all came back I don't know what that is coming out from under the console I have to kind of figure that out maybe it's I don't know I'm gonna reseal the console and then hopefully that'll stop that because it came out on the corner over there too as you can see but over here got a first cut over here so all this side's been cut you can tell it looks super slick super super shiny now problem is that it does show 20 year old boat um you know all the fish and hooks and line and scratches and all that stuff is going to show up um but other than that it's going to be super super shiny so this is kind of what we look like so far with the first cut it's kind of shady so you can't really see but as soon as a cloud moves you're going to see how 
different it is from here to there. Now, you notice that, well, wipe this off because it's all compound, but if you wipe your fingers, you notice that you don't get any white. The white that I got is the compound. But if you wipe your fingers on it and there's no white, then you don't have any oxidization, so you don't need to wet sand it. This um, Presto works really, really good. So all that's been cut. You can see how shiny it is. Now, once you hit that with the polish, this thing's just going to glisten. I've not done this floor, but this wall's been done up to here. You can really see the line there. I don't know if you can in the camera or not because it's kind of hard to see. Boom big difference big big difference so i'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting out this gunnel and then once i get the gunnel cut to the back back there we'll go ahead and hit the console once we hit the console then all we got left is this back to cut and then we'll polish the whole upper top before we do the outside hull so these stickers are pretty trash so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of them this is just an eraser wheel you kind of want to go on, go slow with it and prime it up, and then um, you can speed it up later on, and that's going to be how we're going to take these stickers off. And that's how you get those stickers off. I mean, just the eraser wheel, but then after you do the eraser wheel, you come back, there's a thousand grit sandpaper. It's a wet, dry sandpaper. So a thousand grit, and this is just some um, soapy water. I just got some dish soap and some water sprayed on there. You can sand it down, get rid of all the stuff. Obviously you can work it as hard as you can work it, uh, depending on how thick your gel coat is on whether or not you'll get it completely off. But for the most part, that's pretty much all the way off and um you know when i compound this this will be pretty much gone but i think we'll probably end up getting new stickers to put on here anyway so it's you know that's all i'm gonna hit it for right now if you want more i might hit a little bit here a little bit more because it's got a little bit of a a little bit of an off coloring to it but that's what that thousand grit sandpaper will take that off okay i went in and taped off my speaker there because that's new and i taped off the acrylic here and also the glass because that is some gritty stuff this compound so when i compound this i just don't want to scratch my dash or the speaker or any of that stuff i don't really care so much about the horn because that will polish up real nice with the metal polish same thing that courtesy light that could use some polish so um now i'm going to go ahead and hit the sides of the console the front i'm going to do later because i'm going to get my little polisher out and do around the little one that way i can get up in here around the dash and all that stuff and not mess up my c deck up here yeah so the back everything has been cut in the inside of the boat all back here is actually really nice with this rigging because i can actually just take this and stuff it right there boom totally out of the way so i didn't even realize i had that feature built in to the rigging system might as well take that go ahead and cut the deck real quick and then once i cut that then i can come back to the front we can start polishing if i could get like cut you know polished all the way back to the back that would be sick for today and then tomorrow we can finish out you know polishing the back polishing the console we got we got another full day just in polishing and fine tuning in here inside the boat Yeah, all this has been busted out. Everything's been cut up here in the boat. Looking really, really good. It does almost look like there's like a yellow, yellowing to the gel coat almost. I wonder, I've heard about this, but I don't know. I did not wet sand the boat. I just cut it 
Now, you know, as long as it, the rain holds out, it is now 3.30, so if the rain holds out, this will dry a little bit, and I'll come back and I can get out the other pad and start polishing up here with the 3M white polish. If I can get all this polished up here, and maybe even get these gunnels polished, that would be, I would call that a success for the day. looking great so I got all this is polished all this is polished so tomorrow I mean as you can see this thing looks just amazing so tomorrow I'll be able to I'm gonna go ahead and spray this down just get all this junk off of here but yeah look how clean this looks tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and I can work on the console then once I knock the console out hit those two back spots that's gonna be it for tonight I'm just gonna spray this out and get a lot of this stuff out of the boat Now that is looking good. Definitely gonna have to replace the stickers if we want the stickers on there, but honestly, I don't think you really need to have stickers on here because if it looks like this, I mean, you can still see the imperfections in the gel coat when you look like this. You can kind of see the different imperfections, but honestly, that cleaned up so good for being a 20 year old boat. All right, this is all looking beautiful back here. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and work on my console. I just need to tape this off. I'm gonna get my little polisher out so I can hit the gel coat all the way around these little pieces. Realistically, I should have cleaned this before I put those dash panels on there, but it is what it is. So I'm just gonna tape them off, clean them. After that, I'm gonna get out that Meguiar's stuff, the black polish, polish this whole piece out, get some plastics, clean my windshield, and then I can clean the deck out. And then once the deck is clean, I'll go ahead and hit the deck real quick with a polish. Uh, I, this right here has all been polished, but as you can see, it's, it's not slick. So like, you know, anything, if you get this wet, I mean, especially these gel coat floors like this, all of them are gonna be slick when they're wet, but this is actually amazingly good. So I'm gonna go ahead and polish this floor too just because I mean I might just polish this piece right here I just want that thing to be shiny um, I've already got it all the way around it that's really all I want to do I'll probably just polish this whole piece right here and that'll be that clean the boat we need to wash all this stuff off get all this stuff off the gunnels all this you know stuff so you can see how like that doesn't look good it's because all that junk's on the sides once I get it all cleaned out, it's all going to look like this because it's all been polished. But yeah, we just need to get all the old residue and dirt and dust and all the everything, everything off of there. all right now that we are looking just absolutely pristine all the way around this biscuit um need to kind of clean up all this junk this right here to get this off i mean it's just a little bit of soap and water is really all you need to do to clean this off i would use you know a microfiber cloth you don't want to use something that's uh, abrasive so i'm just gonna get some soap and water on a rag wipe all this down for this matte black acrylic and you know the sun cover just get all that stuff off this I'm going to hit with Meguiar's Black Plastic Restore. That seems to do decent on starboard. 
Um, and I haven't tried this on like acrylic or anything like that. I, I don't know if I will. I'm just kind of not sure what exactly I would put on this yet. But um, yeah, for this right here, a lot of this is just going to wipe off because I polished it before with the Plastex. But Plastex does not do like this or this. So you don't want to put you don't want to put this stuff on the starboard or the acrylic. It'll like. I mean, it, it's not for that. Don't do that. It, it won't look right. I, I can almost bet it'll be like a white thing. So this is basically good for windshields and panels like this. That's real good. But I'm pretty sure I can use this on this panel as well because this isn't see-through. It's just black. It's just going to make it shiny. So, um, yeah, I'm going to use this on the starboard to clean all this stuff up. just going to put it on a rag, wipe it all on there, and then wipe everything off. That should fix this soap and water for these but yeah look at look at this that looks so good so ooh, and it kind of need to take a razor blade and get those little sealant bubbles out but besides that this this is looking really good so once i do this we'll move on to the metal well this looks insanely amazing i still need to do the metal i have not done the metal but from the new windshield to the dash this cushion all that the switches the radio the acrylic panel all that and then all the console i mean this this boat this thing looks beautiful for being 20 years old that right there looks awesome so the only thing I, I didn't change these out those should clean up but now that i'm looking at them they got a little water in there so those might have to get changed later they work great so um i'm just gonna polish them up for now but wow this looks so good this is the stuff that you want to have for doing metal this is colonite uh metal wax 850 we're just gonna put this on some on a rag and you will see an immaculate difference you see all the dirt and stuff that's on this and then also let me find a piece that's kind of rusty even these things right here just watch how this stuff works just wipe it on and this stuff just does the magic now take this and wipe it on yeah ridiculous that stuff's insane so now i'm just gonna now i'm just gonna go around the rest of the boat hit all this metal hit the t-top metal all that stuff to make sure it's polished and protected With the rest of the boat looking beautiful, we're going to move on to the rub rail. I know we've still got to do the outside. I'm not talking about that yet, but I'm going to do the rub rail. Super easy. Acetone, gloves. Well, first off, gloves, acetone, rag, woody walks, rag. So you just take your rag with the acetone. We're going to wipe this down. We're going to put woody wax on our rag, and we're going to wipe this down. And you'll see the difference between this, how it looks now, and what it looks like when we get done with it. There you go, looks beautiful. I mean, you know, obviously it's not a brand new rub rail. It just looks blue and clean. So, you know, it looks it looks beautiful for a 20 year old rub rail that got smashed in with a mangrove by a hurricane. Now I just need to, I mean, you can see I'm a, the blue came back, but I mean, there's nothing you could do about this. I could try and heat that and kind of like get it to mold back, but all these scratches and stuff, you can sand this with a thousand grit and get a lot of that stuff out or sand it with something a little bit better but for me and for this boat all we're going to be doing is just acetone woody wax kind of get it that blue look back we're not going to go above that then working my way around the boat this is just uh woody wax and then now this is all only acetone and yes i know that the acetone is stripping the wax off of this right here we have not done this side so when we do this side we can hit this edge not a big deal so coming around here this is all acetone all acetone that's looking beautiful looking beautiful all the way to here this is all just acetone and then boom this is what the rub rail looks like so you can kind of see 
big difference to what it looks like right here to boom that's been acetoned i'm just wiping it down just kind of getting all the dirt and junk off there and then we'll come back and the woody wax will kind of like wet it down moisten it get it nice and shiny all this is going to get cleaned up and then we'll put some more wax on here because the acetone is stripping that off but again that's why we're doing this road rail now before we hit this because this all needs pressure wash clean i need to get new fl numbers but this is what this road rail all looks like pre so you can see just all kinds of nasty looking all white and messed up but that's what it's going to look like in the end again this is only acetone this is not better shot this is all acetone this is no woody wax on here once we hit the woody wax this will be super shiny but yep i'm just going to keep hitting this rub rail all the way around and then we'll woody wax it and that'll probably be it for today look at how good this metal shined up it's supposed to look good Ooh, i do need to clean this up looking fresh now boy the hole inside the boat's looking real good so i gotta do the outside but rub rail metal all shining i need to wash that side over there it's kind of see the glare i don't know if you can see it in the camera but it needs a little bit more more attention but the rest of everything is just looking real good Now when it comes to the detail, if you really want to set it off, the last thing you need to do is put a coat of wax on the boat. So here, this is a Colonite heavy duty paste fleet wax. This is some outstanding stuff. Now, getting this in a camera, is going to be kind of difficult to get it to where you'll be able to see the difference. So here's a section that does not have wax on it. Take my applicator here, put a chunk of wax on there like that. And then I rub this stuff in. Then once you get it all on there, just need to wax it off. So a little wax on, wax off. You come back with a rag and you just wipe it all off. Now whether or not you can see the difference in the camera, I don't really know, but when you look at it there is a huge difference that wax is what really like sets this off off you know i've already done the metal so but yeah that's what that's what makes it pop off is that wax once you get done with all your cutting your polishing and all that you put that wax on there and this biscuit will shine Like I said, the wax just sets it off. I mean, look at this boat. This is 20 years old. And that thing looks as fresh as when it came out. Beautiful. 